Today, I'm excited to introduce you to my exclusive collection with Motion VFX's design studio called Brad West's Favorites. Now, if you don't know what Design Studio is, Design Studio offers over 4,000 top quality motion design elements, all accessible directly within Final Cut Pro through Motion VFX's M extension. With its intuitive drag and drop workflow, Design Studio makes it effortless to integrate these elements into your projects, enhancing your storytelling without interrupting your creative flow. I love how I don't have to leave Final Cut Pro while I'm editing to look for cool overlays, titles, transitions, or effects for my videos. Using M extension, I can just search for something like logo animation, browse through the different options, and download the one I want. Let's say this one, and then I drag it to my timeline. I'll add this FCP logo and adjust a few parameters up here to customize it, and it's done. The two biggest benefits of Design Studio for me is that it saves me so much time and it also boosts the production value for my clients. In my curated collection, you'll find a variety of elements designed to elevate your edits. These are all assets I use regularly on my YouTube videos or for client projects. So whether you're working on a YouTube video of your own, a cinematic sequence, a dynamic music video, or a sleek corporate presentation, these assets have got you covered. To access the collection, we'll just head over to the extensions menu and go to M extension. And I'll head over to my library and I've got the Brad West collection right here. Now, I've already downloaded these, of course, but if you haven't, you'll have a, a blue download button here or you can download each asset individually. But let's have a look at some of these assets. You might recognize some of them from my videos like the subscribe animation, which looks like this. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you're subscribed because we do fun Final Cut Pro things here. And hitting that like button really helps a lot. I also use this pointer quite a lot when I'm showing things on screen. You can see it pop up over here in this example. And then you might recognize some of these intros, which I use as sort of chapter titles. So I'll drag this one onto the timeline for you to have a look. This is what it looks like off the bat. And I'll double click here to make this bigger. And I'll go in here usually and edit the text, change the logo if I want, change it to text only, change the colors, all that sort of thing. And then it looks something like this to send to a client. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller to show you another one. This placeholder title that we've got here, you can see it pops up and you've got this nice glow. I've changed that. I've actually renamed that called Talking Head. And I have this little template that I've created or customized from that template where I pop up on screen to the side like that. All I've done is I've changed these four colors here to black to create a sort of drop shadow. And I've adjusted things like the inside scale and position to position myself in that little frame. So as you can see, I use a lot of these assets for tutorial videos, but there's also some really nice transitions in here that I've used for client videos. I'll zoom in here to the end and let's make a transition. Let's go from one of these clips to this clip of Dylan John that I used in that last video. And maybe this transition here, I'll just drag and drop it onto my timeline and let me actually just remove the split screen effect on these quickly and I'll play it back properly. These are super nice, super dynamic transitions that I like to use. And then I have a bunch of overlay effects, which I quite like. I have this grain and glow effect which really makes a logo stand out. It looks quite cool. I usually will take the animation in and out off so that the glow is consistent. And I'll often pair this with a pop-up animation. So I'll just hit Alt G to create a compound clip. And I have a pop-up preset that I've created using another plugin. And that looks like this. So it pops up and it's got this nice grain glow effect. I can add any of these overlay effects like this anamorphic effect and you can see it's got this radial blur. I can adjust things like the, the radius and the strength. I can choose the center of the focus here. I've also got this really nice light diffuse plugin, which creates these sort of like light leaks, lens flare type diffuse looks over the highlights. Again, you can choose the strength. This is great actually when you have a light in the scene. So for example, this shot here with Dylan John, if I bring that over the top, it creates nice diffusion here where we've got a practical light and we can change the color to something like this that would match the scene a little better. 
and I would probably reduce the strength a little bit on something like this. So these are really nice overlay effects to use and then I also have some nice camera movements. Now this I use quite often, I'll jump to the beginning of my timeline. You can see we have this constant zoom here which is what I've got on over here and then we have this punch in zoom that zooms in. Both of these are from the MKBHD pack and if I play that back you'll see we have the slow zoom in happening. You can see how we're zooming in here and then we punch zoom in with that one and the nice thing is it also punches back out. These are two I use all the time. And then we also have some cool backgrounds. And what I like doing with these is, let's just drop that over here. What I like doing with these is to add some text over the top. So I'll often add titles over some kind of background that looks like this. Again, you might be familiar with some of these from my YouTube videos. So that's what you'll find in my Brad West collection of favorite plugins in Design Studio. Design Studio offers a 14-day free trial for users to explore its capabilities and you get access to a collection of free elements that you can keep and continue to use even if you decide not to stick with the subscription. With the free trial, you have nothing to lose. So go ahead and click on the link down below to try it out for yourself. And I'll also leave a link to my collection down below if you want to check out those assets. Another cool thing is M Captions AI forms part of the Design Studio subscription. It's an AI powered tool that generates accurate subtitles in over 90 languages with just one click. I know Final Cut Pro has its own built-in auto captions feature now, but it's not without its flaws as I talked about in this video. So M Captions AI beats the built-in captions in Final Cut Pro when it comes to the variety of styles you can choose from, the animation types, and the number of supported languages. It's perfect for making your content accessible to a global audience. There are different subscription tiers to choose from, and if you choose the top tier, you also get access to plugins like M Roto AI, M Tracker Surface, M Flare 2, M Puppet, M Film Look, and M Tracker 3D. These are all super useful, high-end, professional plugins, and I'd highly recommend investing in them, especially if you get paid to make videos, because they'll boost the production value of the videos you make for your clients. If you want to create amazing captions in Final Cut Pro, then go ahead and check out my M Captions AI video next, so you can see how powerful it is. Until next time, happy editing.